And we're back! So, Pokemon. Last time, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, um, we're back. Part two. I was ready to go. Um, so yeah, last time we did, uh, the last, last, in the last part, we just did all the introductory stuff. So we went in, got our Pokedexes, we got our first Pokemon, we just got prepared to go set out into the world of Pokemon and go on our adventure and save the world and do stuff like that. Yes, our first wild encounter in the first couple minutes, first first 30 seconds of the part actually. We got Pidgey and it was a critical hit, nice. Get some more XP, always good. Right, let's carry on. So, now that we've actually got everything we need to actually set it on a Pokemon adventure, oh uh, god. Uh, it's another Rattata, okay. <laughs> I said I was going to cut these kind of Pokemon battles, but I'm keeping this one in for now, just because why not. Um, but yeah. Now that we actually got all our resources to get actually go on a Pokemon adventure, we can actually go and do stuff. So the first thing we got to do is just I don't know, explore around the place, see what we can. Because a lot of things are, got, are more accessible now, are more open now. Now that we've got our Pokédex and shit, so we're gonna do that. So let's go to the Pokemon. Let's go back to Viridian City. I'm gonna go heal up. So I'll see you when I'm going to do that, because I'm just going to cut this bit out, because otherwise you're going to see this a lot if I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Center every single time. So I'll see you in a bit. Give me a sec. Okay, that was done. Okay, we got, our, we got our Pokemon healed up. We're all fresh and ready to go. So if you go up here, the old man, apparently he's had his coffee now, so he's not all grumpy and stuff. So we should be able to pro proceed now. Ah, I've had my coffee now and I feel great. Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry I was so rude to you. Yeah, you better be sorry. I see you're using a Pokédex. I'll show you how to catch a Pokémon, It's my apology. Sure, let's roll. So basically, this is the guy that teaches you how to catch a Pokémon. So a wild Rattata has appeared. Uh, yeah, so this is how you catch a Pokémon, guys. So, uh, random Pokémon comes out, you go to your item box, and you catch a Pokéball. And he fails. That didn't work, I must be losing my touch. Yeah, I don't- I, yeah, he, he, he sort of ruins, he's gonna fail, but the main concept's there, he, that's how you catch a Pokemon. It's pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, for a guy who's had his morning coffee, he wasn't really so energized and up, up for that, really, to be honest, so, oh, I'm going wrong way. So, I think the first thing we should do is actually get some Pokeballs, because we can start catching Pokemon whenever I see a Pokemon I want to catch for my team, which is actually not very long, and in, in fact, I'll probably be catching Pokemon in this park, because... Yeah, I need to catch Pokemon. So yeah, Pokeballs are available. So I always, I always get, I always get ten because I don't know. I always do. So I always buy ten, and then I've got one thousand left, which I usually spend on potions, free potions. And that's a, that's what I've always done in all the Pokemon games. Well, in future Pokemon games, they actually give you Pokeballs for free, but in this game, they don't do that. They're not as generous. So if I'm right, we only have ten Pokeballs. Yep. Well, because we just bought them. So yeah, of course. So, we could go forwards up top, but for me, you want to go left. You want to go left to this side, because there's stuff you want to get here that will help you so much in the future. This only really applies for Pokemon Yellow. I mean, if you didn't Pokemon Red, Blue, Red and Blue, you might not have to come here, but there's a certain Pokemon I want to catch, and I don't know if I'll be able to see it first time, and if I don't, then I'll just cut until I actually find it. Well, here's Nidoran Female. Nidoran Female is actually a good Pokemon to catch, but I don't think I'll catch it for this game. I usually catch Nidoran in my other playthroughs, uh, because Nidoran is actually a very good Pokemon because it has a, lot, a very big diverse move pool, it can learn a lot of different kind of moves, and it's just a cool looking Pokemon. But no, we're not going to catch uh, Nidoran. So, um, we're just going to keep walking in the grass for a bit until we find the Pokemon we want. So if this Pokemon isn't what we need, then I'll cut to... In fact, we don't need a cut because I found the Pokemon I want. Mankey! Mankey is the Pokemon I want. Why do I want Mankey? I'll explain further down, further down the line. But until then, I'm just going to hopefully catch this Mankey without miserably failing. It's quite powerful too. Hopefully this Thundershock shouldn't kill it. If I get a crit, then I'm sort of screwed. Nope, it's cool, it's all weakened. It's paralyzed too, extra nice. If, if a Pokemon has a status affliction like paralyze or sleep or poison, it gives you a higher chance of success of catching the Pokemon. And with paralyze and low health, should be no problem. So let's see. One, two, three. Awesome. I caught the Mankey. Great. Mankey will be part of my team. I will be saying that Mankey will be part of my team. It will be a very important player on my team. Do you want to give a nickname? 
No, that was cool. So, we've got our Pokemon, we've got our second party member, and we're only two parts in. We're only five minutes into second part, so... Yeah, we're making some mad, mad progress. Alright, let's just go back to the Pokemon Center. So, oops, did we do it? So, I'll see you when I'm healed. Give me a second. And we're back! All nice and healed and ready to go. So, let's just see... So, what, what moveset does Mankey have? Should be just scratching? It's just scratching Leer, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, now that we have two Pokemon, we are kind of equipped and ready to go. So, we should... Do I really want to... There is actually something else that you can do on the left. But, you know what, let's do it, let's do it. I have a feeling we're probably going to lose, but there is also something else you can do here. Uh, once you reach a certain point in the game, you can't do this anymore. But, if you proceed walking on here... Asa appears out of nowhere. Yes, I actually never knew this the first time I played, but... Yeah, if you go over to the left hand side, you can fight Asha for a second time. I'm probably going to lose this fight because Asha in this fight is actually pretty tough. So, yeah, I just wanted to show this to you guys. If I lose, then... Oh well, but let's try and actually win this fight. Because he is quite tough now. I mean, he's got a Spearow level 9. And he, yeah, he's, he's level 9, I'm only level 6, so... It's quite a tough fight. But luckily, I'm an electric type, so hopefully this should give me the advantage of a Spearow, which it should do. Yeah, it's doing a nice bit of damage, so this is my, I might have a chance. I'm not sure if I will be able to really take on... Uh, if I was to set up Mankey, it would probably die, since Mankey's a fighting type, and, my, and fighting types are weak against flying, so I'd probably die if I sent him out, so I'll, Pikachu's my best bet. I do, have two, I do have two potions as well, that could help, so I could use that. I'm trying not to use those potions, since I've got a little bit of money. And of course, another critical hit when I don't need it. Should level up from this fight, yep, level 7, awesome, awesome stuff. His next one was Eevee, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's send Mankey out. I mean, I don't think Mankey can really do much right now. He's level 8. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> I have Scratch and Leer. If I use Leer, it'll lower his defense. But I don't think I'll need that. I'll just, keep, I'll just spam Scratch and hope for the best. See how much damage I can do. Eh, I'm, I'm doing barely nothing. Oh, he's using Sand Attack. Sand Attack lowers your accuracy. Which means there's a higher chance of you missing, which is a bit... Eh. But this Eevee seems to be just spamming Tail Whip and Sand Attack, so hopefully I can actually... I might actually be able to beat Gaddy here, or Ass Hat, but yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Keep him up, nope, damn it, come on. Yeah, he's just spamming Sand Attack, this isn't very good. Oh god, I might switch if he keeps doing this. Yeah, it's gonna keep doing this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to switch here. Uh, we'll switch to Pikachu. Pikachu might die, because I might just use Tackle now, I don't know. We'll switch back to Pikachu. Yeah, he's using Tackle right off the bat. 1 HP! I could sac- I could just sacrifice Pikachu. I'm tempted just to sacrifice Pikachu because... I'd rather Mankey gets the full XP rather than, um... Than Pikachu. I might- I might pay- I might get Karma for this because I might- If Mankey dies, then I'm screwed. So... This might be a bad decision, but we'll keep trying. There's Tackle. I'm not Tackle, I'm using Scratch. Hopefully, I don't know why, but Eevee just seems to keep spamming Tail Whip and Sand Attack when it's Mankey, for some reason, so... I think I might just enough, one more should be enough. Yep, I think this is it. Yes, awesome, nice stuff. So we do actually beat Asa. I wasn't actually confident being Asa, but it looks like it paid off definitely. Nice, level 6. Great. Yeah, take that, Asa. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, locked out, locked out, whatever. Yeah, have to remember to get past. Uh... And he just walks away. Goodbye, Asat. But yeah, if you keep if you keep walking to the left, this takes you to the Pokemon League, which obviously for now, oh, random battle. Give me a second. Okay, that was that. Right, if you keep walking this way, you get to the Pokemon League. Um, the Pokemon League is obviously the main goal of any Pokemon trainer, is to get here, get all eight badges so you can proceed on. Obviously, if you don't have any badges, when you go up to these security guard people, uh, they just tell you no. You don't have the motor badge yet, so... Yeah, rules of rules can't let you pass, so... Until you get the eight gym badges, you can't really do anything here, so... Yeah, we won't be back here for quite a long time. I just wanted to show the ass hat fight, because... You can miss that fight. I think once you get to... The next city, 
you can't fight uh, Ass Hat anymore, so I just decided to do it now because it's nice. Extra XP, extra money. If you can't beat him, because he is quite tough, so if you can beat him, then fair play to you. So I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Center because, as you know, Pikachu's sort of dead and Mankey's a bit injured. So I'll see you when I'm done with the Pokemon Center. And we're back, so healed up, all ready to go. Let's march on forwards. Here's old man again, so let's just keep marching forward. I mean, we've, we spent enough time in Viridian City. I think we should progress a bit more now, so... Just keep marching forward. There's more grass. I'm gonna try to avoid grass because... Yeah, I'm I don't really need to fight Pokemon right now, so let's just keep going. <sighs> right. We're now in our next location. If I'm right, this is Viridian Forest. I think we should check the sign. Oh, no, just trainer tips. Okay, we can Pokemon for attempt to capture. Yes. Very, very good advice. Before catching a Pokemon, you should always weaken them, so... There are new wild Pokemon here, so I will show them off. Our first one's Metapod. Great, Metapod. Metapod, not the best Pokemon in the world. Very infamous for its Harden, because that's literally all it can do. Like, literally, if you can fight a Metapod in the wild, it does no nothing but Harden. Basically, it's useless. So if you were to catch this, the only way for you to train it is if you just send it out and switch it out with another Pokemon. So it gets the XP even though it didn't fight, so that's the only way you're going to be able to get XP on it, so... Yeah, I'm not really interested, so I just killed it. Anyways, let's just carry on. I think there's an item over here as well. No, there's no item? I'm sure there's an item there. Oh well, I don't know. Must be imagining things. But yeah, we've got our first Pokemon trainer battle that is an asshat. Hey, you have Pokemon? Come on, let's battle him! <coughs> so we have our very first Pokemon battle, apart from asshat. It's Bugcatcher. And what does he send out? He sends out a Caterpie. Should be easy, bread and butter, level 7. Carapies aren't very strong, so you, should ha you shouldn't you should really have a problem taking these out. I mean, they're one of the most basic Pokemon to kill. These and Pidgeys, basically. So, yeah, you shouldn't have a worry. And Raditas. So, yeah, just spam the Thunder Shock. String Shot lowers your speed, if I'm correct. Yep, lowers your speed. Just keep spamming Thunder Shock. I'll try to fight all the trainers in the... I'll try for fight all the trainers in the, the forest. I'll only show the ones that are compulsory, because I don't think you, you really want to see me fight every single trainer. But it's good to fight every single trainer, because you get more XP and you get more money, which is important for your journey. So, do make sure to try to fight every trainer you possibly can. Thunder Wave, excellent move. Guarantees paralysis if you use it on a, per on a Pokemon that isn't ground type. So, another Caterpie. I'm going to stick with Pikachu for now. But yeah, we're just going to keep using Thunder Wave. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to try fight every trainer I can in every area I go to, but I'm not going to show the ones that aren't compulsory because it would just get really boring and long and not really interesting, so yeah, I'm just going to just cut those ones out. I mean, if you really, really are interested in them, then I could show them, but it's just going to make the video really, really long and I don't know. I don't want to make all the parts super long. I want to try and make each part maybe about 20 minutes max. I don't really want to make them any longer than that because... I don't know, not everyone has time to watch videos that longer than 20 minutes, so I always feel that like 20 minutes is a good length. But yeah, let's carry on. That's our first trainer done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I might send Mike Mankey for the next fight. I mean, he has two levels beneath Pikachu, so let's give him a shot. So, he's another trainer, but like I said, I'm going to avoid all the not compulsory ones, so I'm just going to avoid him. Got a potion. Yes, another potion. Excellent. I think there's a trainer up here, I think. There should be a trainer. Is there? Maybe not. I thought it was a trainer up there. I must be. I'm, I'm thinking it's in the later games that they introduced a trainer up top. Uh, gotta love random Pokemon battles. In that Pokemon encounter, though, Mankey did get to level 7. So that was actually quite a nice fight, even though I didn't actually show the fight. So, oh, God, man. Yeah, like I said, wild encounters are really, really annoying until you get repel. So, yeah, get. I'm going to be gonna be in for a lot of cutting out. So, nope. Oh, actually, I, I should have been. Okay. Um, I'm going to just skip this battle because you can skip this trainer. So... Yep, we're just gonna ignore this. Our Pokemon trainer done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, and in that battle, Mankey grew up to level eight. So yeah, we're going up nicely in the levels. But Mankey's almost worn out. So let's switch back to Pikachu for now. So we're almost in the final. Oh, no, no, we're not in the final stretch. But uh, I love it when random Pokemon encounters interrupt your commentary. It's great. Let's just keep going. So yeah, uh, we're almost in the final stretch. You can see the sign over there. That's the exit. So we're almost there. So just. A cup of it, more power grass. Okay, let's keep going. Nope. Uh, and after that Pokemon Battle, Pikachu grew to level 9, which is awesome. So we're getting up the levels pretty healthily right now. But yeah, so... 
I think they must have toned down the Pokemon encounter rate in the future games because I swear I, it's been so long since I played Pokemon Yellow and I swear like it's so weird seeing how many Pokemon encounters you get now compared to what it used to be. Oh my god. Alright, let's keep going. No more Pokemon battles please. Awesome, okay. This is the last trainer and if I'm right, he has, I think he has a level 10 Caterpie or something. Which makes you really question because Caterpie evolves into Metapod at level 7 and it evolves into Butterfree at level 10. So why the hell does he have a level 10 Caterpie when he could have a Butterfree? But oh well, none of my business, right? So we're just gonna keep spamming Thunder Shock. It doesn't matter what level this Caterpie is, it's still a Caterpie. Should be easy, destroy, bread and butter. Just keep spamming the Thunder Shocks and you'll be good to go. Always fine. Critical hit, nice. String shots. Speed fell, Thunder Shock. Boom, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 112 XP as well, excellent. I give up, you're good at this. And I get more money, woohoo. And after, oh, eventually, we'll get there eventually. Okay, finally out of the grass, we're finally out of the Viridian Forest, which is awesome, if it's signs say so. Nope, more trainer tips, okay. Stay away from grass here, yep. Like I said, just stay away from that stuff. Is there anything useful to say? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Yeah, we'll get to that in the future. Yep, different kinds, cool. <laughs> Alright, there's another patch of grass there, which is probably just there for training. If you want to train your Pokemon, this is a good patch of grass to go to. But, we, well, I'm probably going to be training off screen, because my Pokemon are a bit under leveled, but... Yeah, we'll get to that in the next part, I guess. But for now, we're just going to keep going to the next, next, next city. So here, we are in Pewter City. Which is the first of me- oh, I keep thinking these, these, these signs are actually telling you, like, what the place is called, but it's Pewter City. If we check our map, it's Pewter City. Um, the first major city in the game, if you don't count Viridian, I guess, so... Yeah. First thing we've got to do is go to the Pokemon Center, so I'll see you when I'm healed. Healing's done. And... There's a lot of things you can actually do in this city. Uh, there's a standard Pokemon like always. I'll have to say my items as it wasn't Viridian, so there's no point in checking. If you could, if you try to go to the right, however, uh, this guy says you're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. And yeah, this guy will take you to the gym. I mean, I already knew what it was, but I just wanted to demonstrate that this guy's here. And you have this amazing soundtrack again. I love this song. It's such a happy tune. But yeah, so this is the Pokemon gym. So. Basically, these are the main... Yeah, th th before I get into that, did you see how that guy walked to the right? If you walk to the right, there's a barrier. How did- where did he go? <laughs> how did- he must- he must- he just walked through the barrier. Well, okay. But yeah, these are the gyms. There's eight of these in, uh, all around the- all around the Pokemon world. There's one in each city. Not every city, but one in each certain city. So basically, you remember the Pokemon League, right? It said that you couldn't get pie unless you get a certain gym badge. So obviously, you have to go into the gym and... Win a gym badge. And to do that, you have to defeat the trainers in the gym, including the gym leader. So, yeah. We'll probably save that for the next part, because it's quite a hard gym for our very first gym, especially in Pokemon Yellow. I'll get to uh, explaining why it's a hard gym in the, sec in the next part. So, that's all for this part. So, stay tuned for next time for the third part of Pokemon Yellow. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll probably be doing some training off-screen, so if you see my Pokemon be a bit higher level in the next... Uh, part then that's probably why so until then I'll see you guys later peace out